constants and immutable variables that are declared inside a Solidity smart contract does not use storage slots. For example, let's say that we have a state variable uint256, public, I'll name it s0, and we'll set this equal to 1. And we'll create another state variable uint256, public, I'll call this one s1, equals to 2. And let's say that in between these state variables, we have a constant and an immutable variable. For example, let's say uint256, public, constant, I'll name this x, and I'll set this equal to 1 to 3. I'll also create an immutable variable, let's call this address, public, immutable, and I'll call this owner. And then inside the constructor, I'll initialize this immutable variable. Constructor, owner is equal to message.sender. The first slot, slot 0 in EBM storage, is taken up by the first state variable, s0. s0 will be stored in slot 0. The next state variable that we have is this one, s1. This will be stored in slot 1. Okay, but how about this constant next and this immutable variable owner? Where are they stored? Starting with constants, constants will be hard-coded inside the code of the smart contract. And for immutable variables, they are also hard-coded, but when the code is compiled, the code will have a placeholder, and when the contract is deployed, that placeholder will be replaced by the actual value. In both cases, constants do not use any slots. They are stored as bytecode inside the smart contract. And to show you this, I'm going to create a function to read slot 0 and slot 1. Function get slots public view returns uint256. We will get the first value stored in slot 0, I'll name this b0, and then we will get the next value that is stored in slot 1, I'll call this b1. And then we will use assembly, assembly, b0, get the data that is stored in slot, sload, 0, get the data stored in slot 0. And for b1, get the value stored in slot 1. We will call this function to get the value stored in slot 0 and to get the value stored in slot 1. And what we want to confirm is that inside slot 0, this value 1 is stored, and inside slot 1, this value 2 is stored. So let's compile a contract and then deploy it, and then call the function test get slots. And we get the values, b0 is 1, this is because in slot 1, we have this state variable, and b1 is 2, and this is because in slot 1, we have this value. These two constant and immutable values that are declared in between these two state variables are hard-coded inside the smart contract, and therefore they don't take up any slots.